Hey YouTube, this is Run to Christ, and this is Ignatius Loyola. Okay, so what I'm going to address in this video is the claim that many people on the internet uh, throw around quite a lot. What the claim is, is that the Jesuits, the the founders, including Loyola, were in fact crypto Jews. That's right, folks. Whenever there's uh, any opposition given to the idea that it's a Jew world order or that the Zionist Jews run the world, whenever there's any opposition to that theory given forth, and I've done it myself in the past, that it's the Jesuits that are in control of things, and that is swiftly met with, aha, but yes, Loyola was a crypto Jew. And basically, they call him a Murano, which was what they called Jewish converts in Spain to Christianity. And Murano means pig. So you can see here, Murano in Spanish history is a Jew who converted to the Christian faith, basically Catholics, uh, to escape persecution, but who continued to practice Judaism secretly. So, as I said, the claim is that Loyola was one of these crypto Jews, or hidden Jews, and so therefore if that is the case, then the Zionist Jews have been in control of the Jesuits from the beginning. So, is there any truth to this claim? What can we find to refute it, if anything? And it turns out that there is something that refutes it, and refutes it rather soundly. Once you've heard this, I don't think you can continue on saying that Ignatius Loyola and the other two founders of the Jesuits, Francis Xavier and Peter Faber, were crypto Jews. So, who was Ignatius Loyola? So, Ignatius Loyola was a Spanish priest and theologian who founded the religious order called the Society of Jesus, otherwise known as the Jesuits, and he became its first superior general. He is the top man, the man in charge. There is no other above him. The Jesuit order was the military arm of the Catholic Church and they were basically, they had two objectives. The first was to put in check the Protestant Reformation and the other is to restore papal power to what it once was, which is complete despotism. So in the book The Jesuits in History by Hector McPherson, written in 1914, there is a quote that's regarding the time period of Loyola's wandering around and hiding in caves. The quote is, accidentally the discovery was made of his being Loyola, noble birth, and as a consequence interest in him was greatly increased. To avoid publicity, Ignatius found a convenient cave which he made into a hiding place. Okay, so here in this book, 1914, it makes the statement that Loyola has noble ancestry. So what does this mean? So there's a genealogy of Inigo Lopez de Loyola. That's his uh, proper Spanish name. And if you trace it back, his relatives, you'll see that the Onaz family is involved. So who are the Onaz? Well, the Onaz, just like Loyola, they are what are called Basque. Now, what are Basques? So if you don't know, Basque is a country pretty much all of its own, and it's situated between the border of France and Spain. So the Basque country uh, is a name given to the home of the Basque people in the Western Pyrenees, that straddles the border between France and Spain on the Atlantic coast. So you can see here, this is where it lies. This is France, this is Spain, and this is where the Basque people 
live. So why is this important? Well, here we see the ancestry of modern Iberians, that's Spanish and Portuguese. It's consistent with the geographical situation of the Iberian Peninsula in the southwest corner of Europe. So here, studies have been done recently. So it says, indeed studies point to Eastern Mediterranean genetic contribution to Iberia to have been driven by, primarily by historical rather than prehistorical population movements. And here there's Phoenicians, Carthaginians, Jews and Levantine Arabs rather than earlier Neolithic farmers. So Eastern Mediterranean genes in Spain came way of historical rather than prehistorical population movements. Now the prehistorical ones are the movements of the Jews. Okay, so that takes them out of the equation. So here you can see that it says the Basque region in northern Spain is the most genetically distinct and typically Atlantic European. Furthermore, the Basque region and Catalonia hold the least Eastern Mediterranean ancestry in Iberia. So if you don't know Eastern Mediterranean is Israel, you can't get more east on the Mediterranean Sea than Israel. So let's just read that again. The Basque region in northern Spain is the most genetically distinct and typically Atlantic European. And if you're not convinced of that, we can take it a step further. So, ancient DNA, Basque origins, researchers find that the people of northern Spain and southern France are an amalgam of early Iberian farmers and local hunters. Now this article was done in 2015, so it is pretty new. The mysterious origins of the Basque people of northern Spain and southern France have become a little clearer thanks to DNA extracted from centuries old human remains unearthed in a Spanish cave. Nearly 700,000 Basques who speak a globally unique language and retain genetic patterns that distinguish them from other Europeans seem to be descendants of Neolithic farmers who mixed with local hunters before becoming, now this is key, genetically isolated from the rest of Europe for millennia. So what does this mean then folks? Well this means that the Basque people are not in any way, shape or form genetically related to Jews. Not at all. Ignatius Loyola was a Basque. Francis Xavier was also a Basque. Peter Faber was a French, I believe. Just a little bit more about Loyola and his family tree. This is the Onaz family crest. The Loyola crest is the ancient heraldic crest of Ignatius' family. Ignatius descended from the Onaz and Loyola families, represented on the left and right sides of the crest, respectively. The set of seven red bands on the field of gold was conferred on the Onaz family by King Alfonso XI of Castile in reward for the heroism, loyalty, bravery and dedicated commitment shown by seven brothers in the Battle of Beotaba in 1324. This is undisputable. Loyola's family goes way back in the Basque region and they are in there with nobility and royalty. They are nothing to do with the Jews. They are not genetically related to the Jews at all. So these Moranos or the converted Jews that uh, converted merely to avoid persecution and practiced their religion in secret. DNA studies appear to support the idea that the number of forced conversions has been significantly underestimated as 20% of the tested Iberian population had haplogroups consistent with Sephardi ancestry. Now the Sephardi are Spanish Jews 
So the Muranos or Crypto Jews, as they're called, their DNA was tested and found that they had DNA consistent with Sephardi ancestry. So we know the DNA of the Crypto Jews and it relates to the actual Sephardi, the original Jews that were in Spain. The Basques are completely different from that. They have been genetically isolated from the rest of Europe for millennia. So these tests that were done on 700,000 Basques and these centuries old human remains is identical. The Basques have not changed for thousands of years. This puts to bed the idea that the founders of the Jesuits were indeed crypto Jews. To continue saying such a thing just uh, jeopardizes your reputation because it is disinfo, it is false, there is no truth to it whatsoever. So that's it for me folks, thanks very much for watching. If you liked the video please hit the like button, share the video with your friends and if you can please become a patron of Run to Christ on patreon.com forward slash run to Christ. I really appreciate your support. Thanks very much and I'll see you on the next one. God bless you all.